There we go, right. Now, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Talking about the, um, <coughs> oh, chess. A uh, friend of Hank's. Hank had learned chess off his uncle and father since he was a baby boy. And he taught me how to play. But he also taught a friend of his called Greg York. He was built like a spider. Funny that I'm probably ever saying. And uh, he became very good at chess. He used to get nervous playing chess. Nervous wreck. He had buck teeth and all this. Oh, he's fun looking for. He said, I wish I was your side. He'd like kick the shit out of everybody. But yeah, uh, one day. They're having, I got tricked into going over the castle hill and they're having a, uh, a game of chess with Hank and Greg. So I get there. So i got to play Greg, uh, Hank. Hank beats me. So then Greg sits down. <laughs> He's better than Hank by far. <coughs> Finally get something he can do that I can't. <coughs> I said, Greg, I was only foxing. What makes you think you could possibly be? Well, it goes to pieces and I beat him, right? <clears throat> he goes away, he's in South Africa, Rhodesia, Zambia, playing all sorts of chess tournaments, he's an expert, absolute. He comes back over, he's at Castle Hill. <clears throat> I'm over in uh, uh, 144 National Avenue, Loftus up the back of the hill, a cul-de-sac, and uh, <clears throat> get a phone call. I had, Hank had come over there, and uh, I was playing him chess, and I was doing extraordinarily well, because I never used to beat Hank, right? Hard up the sleeve, and I got my shoes off, and I bought this little chess set you could play by pressing, you, you moved it to a point, and you push the castle down, and it presses, right? And then it comes back, and it's lights up as a move from a champion coming back. Yeah, right. So when Hank was making his moves, I was putting my toes where his chest pieces were. Right? <clears throat> and it's coming back at, we're talking Spassky level. <laughs> Hank is having trouble beating me, right? So then he's got all these pieces, right? <clears throat> he grabs his pieces that I've taken off the board and he flicks one. Doesn't, doesn't take his eyes off me, right? And he goes over like that. And he sees the chess ball with me playing with my right foot. <laughs> so some time later, <coughs> Hank invites me over for tea. So the kids, wife and the kids go. When we get over there, it's a bloody chess tournament. We've got the Brazilian champion. We've got the South African champion. The Rhodesian champion. The Zambian fucking champion. Right? And Greg's beat them all. And he's also beaten me. Fantastic play. So I sit down. <laughs> Brazilian. He thrashes me. Around Robin. They're not going to play the South African. He thrashes me. They're not working their way around, right? Go to Hank. Hank thrashes me. Now, Greg's chair is going to get even, right? He says... <coughs> So it's one question. What? Is it not true that every time we've played together, I thrashed you? Decisively. Yes, but. No buts about it. Yes or no? Every game. Yes. Got to answer yes or no. That's the rule, right? What makes you think this is going to be different? Didn't I tell you last time when I played Hank, I was boxing? Now I played all these guys and I was foxing. I beat him in about 18 moves. Right? <laughs> six, 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 something like that. So he's never forgot that, right? <laughs> Had he won, he'd been still laughing, still gloating. Had he lost what he did, he's crying over it. He'll never forget it. <laughs> what makes you think it's going to be any different? <laughs> I was foxing. Now, what's your verdict on the, uh... oh, Hank and, and uh, Greg going up, driving through one of the national parks, coming up from South Africa to go to uh, Zambia. 
as they're going through this bush road, the car boils. Hanky Brink in the car. So they stop. Brink gets out. Lift up the bonnet. There's a steam popping up. Looking around, see what he can do. Next thing, an elephant's trunk come down, <laughs> sniffing at <the> death. <laughs> he fell on the ground, out cold. Right? And Hank is inside the car with the windows wound up. <laughs> There's this big bull elephant looking like this. What's going on? Never seen anything like this before. Well, you can smell it, right? <laughs> I'm driving through the Wanky National Park or the Kruger, I forget, and I got a 300 millimeter lens. And uh, I lane, like empty. Think of empty. Nothing's going on. Put the camera up to an eye like this, and I said, now, when I tell you to click it, you click it. Right. Sable, beautiful animal, black and white, leaps across the road. As it's coming, and I see it coming, I said, now, click it. Nothing happens, right? Wind the film up. Because it winds the film up. Right. Let's do it again. Just as she's going to, as this animal's coming up, Beautiful thing, bounding across the road, paradise bound, right? This beautiful thing. A bull elephant coming out from the left, hooting and, it's, and charging past the car. So I leant across and clicked it, because she was petrified, she couldn't move. Mm. And when it was developed, it was the asshole of the elephant <laughs> up close. That's 700 <laughs> millimetres. <laughs> It's perfect, right? Could have made a nice abstract. Seven twenty-two. Until the ancient of days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints blessed the kingdom. So judgment is carried out by the Jesuits. They vote on it, and they do it. 